did. Okay. Name the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Come, Holy Spirit, fill the hearts of thy faithful and kindle in them the fire of your love. Send forth your Spirit, and they shall be created. And thou the face of the earth. Let us pray. O God, who by the light of the Holy Spirit didst instruct the hearts of thy faithful, grant us by the same Holy Spirit to be truly wise and ever rejoice in his consolation through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. Okay, so we're beginning with a new season in the liturgical year, and that is the season of Advent. So with the first Sunday of Advent, the Gospel reading comes from St. Luke, chapter 21, verses 25 to 28, and verses 34 to 36. So we'll read it. Jesus said to his disciples, There will be signs in the sun, the moon, and the stars. And on earth, nations will be in dismay, perplexed by the roaring of the sea and the waves. You know that, Amen. <laughs> yeah, just listen, okay? People will die of fright in anticipation of what is coming upon the world. For the powers of the heavens will be shaken. And then they will see the Son of Man coming in a cloud with power and great glory. But when these signs begin to happen, stand erect and raise your hands because your redemption is at hand. Beware that your hearts do not become drowsy from carousing and drunkenness and the anxieties of daily life. And that day catch you by surprise like a trap. For that day will assault everyone who lives on the face of the earth. Be vigilant at all times and pray that you have the strength to escape the tribulations that are imminent and to stand before the Son of Man. Why is our Lord talking this way uh, at the beginning of Advent? Okay, this gives us a clue as to what the Advent season is all about. Okay? The Advent season means both preparation okay, of things that are to come. Okay? And well, for us in the liturgical year, it's the beginning of the cycle also of the liturgical year. But I want us to focus on the idea here that our Lord is trying to convey to us. He is basically telling us, as he has told us in many other occasions in the gospel, not to be afraid. Okay? So Advent is a time <clears throat> for us to assert our courage, assert our sense of faith that makes us unafraid to face the future and even the current situation of our lives. See? Our Lord tells us here, beware that your hearts do not become drowsy from carousing and drunkenness and the anxieties of life. Because many times we can, be, we can get so overwhelmed by the troubles of life, by the things that challenge us in life. And it makes us afraid of going through life because we are not looking forward to the future, to what lies ahead, to the reward that God is promising us if we live our lives faithfully with courage. They, our Lord tells us here, Okay. Be vigilant at all times and pray that you have the strength to escape the tribulations that are imminent and to stand before the Son of God. So life has plenty of challenges. Life has plenty of troubles. But our Lord has told us many times, do not be afraid. It is I. I am the one present there in all of your life's troubles and challenges. I am there. 
You have to seek me there. You have to try to find me in everything that happens in your lives so that you do not become overwhelmed with anxiety and, 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 uh, and discouragement and fear. Okay? Now the question is, how do we strengthen ourselves? How can we be strong uh, in the face of all the troubles and difficulties and challenges and scary things that happen in life? How can we be strong? We will become strong if our faith is strong. If we really, really believe in God. If we believe that God is our Father who cares for us and who provides for us and who is attentive to our needs. If we see God as a Father who loves us, who provides for us, who protects us. And what are you to be afraid of? Right? And our Lord himself has said, you know, fear not. Okay? Uh, and don't worry about your life because the very hairs of your head are counted. You, you don't even know how many strands of hair you have, but God knows, right? Because he knows more than you do about yourselves and about what you need and about what your future is going to be. So trust in God. Put your faith in God. Remember to look at God as a father. So we have to live our divine filiation very well. See, divine filiation, the sonship uh, uh, that we enjoy before our father God. We are children of God. There's nothing we have to be afraid of in life. So as we are embarking this new journey into this new liturgical season, where we are being reminded of the future things to come, not only the coming of Jesus Christ in Christmas, but also the coming judgment at the end of time, and also the coming particular judgment when we die, right? Advent is a reminder of all of these things. And we are being told right in the beginning of this Advent season, do not be afraid. Do not be afraid. Assert your faith. Assert your divine filiation. Take courage in the fact that you are a son and daughter of God. And you will be okay. You will be okay. And you're going to face life with courage. You're going to face life with faith. You're going to face life with with the assurance that your father god is always there to protect you now, this becomes very very relevant for us especially these days when, <laughs> when when the world is still trying to cope with the covid uh situation where so many people are afraid and so many people have been overcome by fear when Perhaps they shouldn't have been. And many times, right, this, this fear is really just a consequence of lack of divine filiation. Lack of understanding that we are children of God. A loving God, a loving Father who will take care of us. If we know how to recognize our relationship with God. Now here's a practical tip I want to I wanna give everybody. You know... This last few weeks, I had been really fostering and improving my own devotion to this great saint, St. Joseph. We are actually ending the year of St. Joseph that Pope Francis has declared uh, at the beginning of this liturgical year, last year, right? Uh, it's, it's the end of that season of the of the church the the uh, the um, year of saint joseph and in this year of saint joseph i personally have been trying to foster a greater devotion to saint joseph and this has been really my my rock this saint saint joseph has been my rock and many times when i'm uncertain when i'm uh, a little uh, um, you know, anxious about certain things. 
I call on St. Joseph and I ask him, please give me the strength, give me the courage to face this situation. Give me the courage to understand what I need to understand in the same manner that he, St. Joseph, was perhaps the bravest of all saints, braver than any martyr who gave up his life. Right? That is why he is called the terror of demons. Even the demons are afraid of him. Okay? Because St. Joseph bravely took upon himself the duty of being the father of Jesus on earth. And he bravely took upon himself the obligation of being the husband of Our Lady. And he bravely took upon himself the duty to care for Jesus. And he's going to take care of us too. So in order to help us live out our divine filiation and our relationship with God as our Father, let us ask the help of St. Joseph, who understood perfectly how to be the son of God himself, how to be a son of God and how to behave like one and how to be courageous because his faith has made him understand that with God, you can do everything and that God is not going to let you down. And there's no reason to fear. Have faith, have faith and have recourse to St. Joseph. Okay. That's it for us. Okay. So happy Advent, everybody. And uh, I hope we, we uh, anticipate in this whole season the coming of our Lord at Christmas. And also keep in mind all the time that the reminder we're being, uh, we're being reminded about this season is not only Christmas, the coming of Jesus in Christmas, but His second coming as well. Okay? Meaning the time of judgment. And so together with that is also the idea of death, the idea of always being prepared for death okay? and our particular judgment and ultimately the last judgment. Okay, Eva, how are you? <laughs> Did you listen? Huh? You listened well. Okay, you want to say goodbye? Huh? You want to say goodbye? There, Eva, say goodbye. There, bye bye. Okay. Uh -oh. Hail Mary. Said, okay. Hail Mary, full of grace. The Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women. And blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Saint Michael. Saint Gabriel. Saint Raphael. Saint Joseph. Holy Mary, our hope and seat of wisdom. Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. So don't be afraid, okay?